What's up guys, this is a very quick review of my thoughts on the new SkyQ box. We just had it installed um, the other week and yeah, so far it's it's good. They've kind of changed all of the layout of um, all the menus and everything. It takes a few days to get used to uh, everything that's different but it's all kind of vertical instead of horizontal now and a bit more fancy so yeah, quite good. So yeah, first of all onto the box. This is a noisy bastard really. It's um, a lot noisier than the um, the Sky HD box that we had previously. I don't know if you can hear it. Makes a kind of clicking noise. Uh, like the hard drive is um, kind of read write noise. It's hard to describe really, but yeah, it's it just happens all the time. Even when it's on off, doesn't matter if it's recording. If it's not recording. Apparently, it's something to do with the Seagate drives that they use inside the uh, the boxes. They're they're no they're just noisy. They're clunky and uh, they're not that great. Um, second thing that I noticed when I received it, which was, I, mean, I was really happy about it, ignore the dust, there's no um, RCA cables on the back. So, um, yeah, if you've got an audio, uh, what's it called, a um, uh, home theater kit, and it runs on RCA leads, then uh, yeah, you, you can't connect it anymore. The, the HD box, that had RCA uh, leads um, connects on the back and that was fine. This thing doesn't have it, it's got an optical uh, cable. So I've got a Bose Lifestyle 50, um, proper old school. It's really good, but that obviously runs on RCA cables and um, the only way around it was to get one of these little things, a little Bluetooth connector, running it into the uh, the back of the box and then connect it to the, uh, the Bluetooth headphones on the telly and it's a pain in the ass um only after i bought it did i realize you get the bluetooth latency so the uh, the voice doesn't match the uh, the audio so you've got lip sync issues which is not great for lip sync battle um yeah so everything else um otherwise i'm, I'm quite happy about you know the, the quality the usd quality of it is you know out of this world it's superb but it does take forever to uh, download a uhd um ultra high definition program we, we try to da download some um, wildlife ones and yeah we just had to wait for about half an hour to download they're professional getting phone calls whilst I'm doing a video <laughs> so um, yeah you notice as well when uh, you want UHD it's like when HD first came out it's only ever silly things like um, wildlife programs you can watch. There's nothing meaningful you can actually watch in UHD. So uh, yeah, it's a fad, but I think in time it's going to be good. So <clears throat> onto the remote controls. Um, I've got the silver box, which is the kind of the, the fancy one. It's got I think um, either one terabyte or two terabyte. I think it is of storage. So the idea is you never run out of space, and you can record about I don't know five or six channels and watch a, a sixth or a seventh. So <clears throat> it's always plenty. Um, this is the standard remote, this one is the Bluetooth enabled one, so the Bluetooth one you don't actually have to point, you can literally just you know, have it in a different room, or as long as it's connected via Bluetooth you're going to be good. Um, it's a kind of touch one, so it, it's a bit, you have to kind of stroke it nice and gently, and that then works, but I'll tell you what, trying to get used to it is just a bit of a pain really. I've got used to it now, um, so you, yeah, you swipe down to go to something and then you have to swipe across into it and then you, you can click on it and that will then take you through to the um, <clears throat> the page that you want. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah a good remote but it just takes a little bit of getting used to and I think that's why they give you this remote um, as standard because the first week I just I hated this thing. Um, but then all of a sudden you kind of think this is getting a bit old and clunky, so you, you start using this one and it's better. <clears throat> um, yeah, so the layout on this um, Q is definitely you know more fluid compared to the other one. You can go kind of left and right, and then the TV guide you go across into it, it's all up and down now rather than left and right. Um, yeah, you can switch across as you normally do. So yeah, it's, it's good, it's an improvement definitely, but I'm just a bit peeved it doesn't have um, RCA connectors and um, it, it's a noisy, noisy little thing. It's, yeah, I think a lot of people, if you search on the forums, they, uh, they send them back, they get new ones, 
they still are noisy. It's just a, a known issue, I think, with the uh, the Seagate drives that they use in the in the boxes. Um, I don't really know what else to say. But from yeah, if, if you are having issues, you know, get in touch with Sky. So if yours is particularly noisy, then there might be an issue with the box. Uh, but if it's not, then you probably will just get a new box, and it will be just as noisy. You can put them on little rubber uh, rubber feet, and that might help it a little bit. I've tried putting this kind of in between layers, but the box just got really hot and. I wasn't particularly happy about that, so uh, yeah, just it is what it is, really. Uh, but yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know if I'd recommend it or not. You know, yeah, it's it's an improvement. We only really upgraded because um, Sky kept charging us more and more, and it got to a point where I was going to leave, and then they said, ah, why don't we give you a Sky Q box and some multi room and some fancy things and stay our customer and we'll make it cheap. So they did that, and I now pay a lot less uh, for a better setup, albeit noisier. Um, yeah, so that, that's really the reason I upgraded to SkyQ. Um, more and more people go over to it. I'm looking forward to when we get more UHD content. I think that's going to make um, it more enjoyable. But yeah, once you get used to the new layout and uh, yeah, everything else, it's, yeah, it's, it's worth looking at. Thanks for watching.